I'm Rangu Rao. Uh, I'm the CEO of Safe Harvest Private Limited. First of all, one has to appreciate that uh, there is uh, there is differentiation in the in the sense of the product that we are selling. This is not a product which is a commodity which is grown through conventional methods. By conventional methods, I mean uh, by the use of uh, chemical inputs. So you are not using any synthetic pesticides, for example, to grow this. So there is a differentiation. And uh, to make it possible for farmers to have an identity for the produce which is coming out of their fields, this has to be maintained through the supply chain. Uh, and only when it reaches a consumer, it has to maintain the same character of you know, having an identity which is uh, uh, produced without pesticide free. Uh, so that has to be made possible through market channels. And uh, it can only happen if there is a marketing entity which maintains this kind of, uh, you know, the entire supply chain. You need markets and you need market entities to make it possible for it to reach the consumer. So that is number one. Uh, so markets are very important. Secondly, farmers have always dealt with markets, you know, and uh, the problem is that even if they use certain kind of methods which come into the category of safe cultivation practices, if they don't have a market channel, then this would go into uh, regular conventional mainstream channels. You know, they'll have to sell through mandis or through local traders or anything like that. So the effort in actually trying to grow through non-conventional, non-mainstream means would be completely lost. Uh, so markets are important from that aspect. Thirdly, today, uh, farmers are, have to put in a slightly more effort in trying to grow without synthetic inputs. Over a period of time, after when things stabilize, then this effort is kind of normalized. Uh, but initially, there is some amount of risk, there is some amount of effort uh, in trying to grow without uh, synthetic inputs. And that is the time when farmers expect a certain kind of uh, a premium to the produce that they are growing. And if there are market entities and channels which uh, recognize this or acknowledge this, then this premium is possible to be, you know, kind of passed on to the uh, farmers. So from that angle also markets are important. Lastly, uh, there is uh, a growing consumer demand today for uh, such uh, produce and coming out of such uh, farmers' fields. For example, Safe Harvest works with small and marginal farmers and there is a growing uh, you know, uh, consumer sort of uh, awareness towards the fact that small farmers are in some kind of difficulty and uh, they should actually align themselves in terms of their purchases or their consumer preferences etc. Uh, to the produce which is coming out of uh, such farms. There are not such market channels available to reach out to such uh, consumer, uh, you know, aware sort of consumers, uh, that can only happen through uh, such market entities. So markets are uh, that way important and, you know, if there is a growing sort of a consumer demand, then it's only possible through markets and market, uh, you know, behavior that you can actually increase the momentum, etc. Because this is probably is also required. It's not something which is just about market opportunity. It's about it's about health, it's about environment, it's about uh, what consumer or what farmers are doing on their feet because that is today synthetic inputs, it, it you know keeps going up. We have examples of Punjab, Haryana, etc. where it's becoming unsustainable. So there is a, a requirement both from the farmers end, from the consumers end and also from let's say from the, for the sake of ecology and environment. So it's a kind of a win-win solution and that can only be done if markets are strengthened. And there are many market entities who are able to kind of procure, process and take it to the consumers as produce coming out of such farmers' fields.